Hey, what's up guys? So I'm going to show you guys a couple of troubleshooting steps that you guys can take if you're having issues with Kern Bypass. I know that some people have installed the applications and done everything correctly and they go to open up Pokemon Go or Fortnite or whatever it is and it's not working. So I'm going to show you guys real quick a couple of troubleshooting tips that you guys can try to see if it'll work for you. So first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and go to my video on how to install Kern Bypass. I will go ahead and leave it in the card above right here. I also link it down below in the description. Go ahead and watch that video. Make sure you follow all the steps on that and then come back to this video if you're still having issues. So let's say you've done everything that you're supposed to. You go to open up Pokemon Go and it's not working. I'm going to use Pokemon Go in this example because it is really cut and dry. If it's working, the app will open. If it's not working, it will go ahead and force close like it's doing right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead, make sure that you ran the command in terminal. If you've run the command, you know it's working and you also have the MNT1 file with all of these different files inside of it then you know that it is on and running so we're going to go ahead and open up kern bypass so kern bypass enable applications go ahead and scroll down and make sure that pokemon go or whatever application is that you're using is toggled on once you've done that go ahead and install choicey i'm going to leave a link down in the description of where to get that go ahead and tap on applications Scroll down to the application that you want. So Pokemon Go, click on whitelist. Go ahead and disable all of these except for the Z notify CH root. All right, so make sure that one is enabled. What this is doing is disabling all other tweaks for that application except for Kern Bypass. So this should give you a higher success rate of it working. So now if we go after we followed all those steps and it's still not opening, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and uninstall the app. Once it's uninstalled, go ahead and reinstall the app. All right, now that the app has been reinstalled, go ahead and double check. Make sure your choicey settings are still there. Go ahead and make sure that your current bypass is enabled for that application. So we got Pokemon Go right there. Now go ahead and try to open the app and it should work. See, the app is no longer force closing. You can go ahead and actually use the application now. Now I found that this is probably the most successful way to get Kern Bypass working. However, it does not work on all applications. I know that there are some certain banking applications where it is still detected. In that case, you may have to use a different jailbreak detection bypass. I will leave another link down in the description to my top five jailbreak detection bypass tweaks for iOS 13. You can go ahead and watch that video and see if any of those bypass tweaks will work for your specific application. However, Kern Bypass should work on Pokemon Go, Fortnite, PUBG, pocket camp um, I know it does not work on Mario Kart and Mario Run however there is a Mario Kart specific bypass that I reviewed in my last video and Mario Run I believe Shadow will work for Mario Run to get that one working now another issue I noticed that people are having is the mobile software updates draining your battery if that is happening, we're gonna go ahead and download a tweak called MC Patch. What this is going to allow you to do is install the tvOS beta profile, and that should solve the issue of the battery drain from the mobile software updates. 
battery drain issue that current bypass may cause. So once that patch is installed, you can then go to the TV beta OS profile. We're gonna go ahead and push download, download anyways, push allow. The profile is downloaded. Now, if you didn't have that patch installed, it would get an error message saying invalid device. So now let's go ahead and jump back over to our settings, go to the profile, tap install, enter the passcode, tap install, install, done. What this is going to do is prevent any of the OTA software updates that are trying to access your device through Apple servers. It's going to block that. So you're not going to be able to update your device because when you go and you try to do software update it's going to sit there and load and say that your software is up to date or unable to check for a software so that's going to stop the battery drain that kern bypass may cause because of the running mobile software update i don't know if it's a daemon or what exactly it is i just know that it does cause a significant battery drain so anyways, guys, that's the video. If you guys have any questions, as always, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. Also comment and let me know if this method is working for you. If you were having trouble before on one of your applications and then you saw this video, follow the steps and let me know down in the comments if the application is now working for you so that we can spread it around, let people know if they are having issues with their jailbreak detection on their specific apps. Anyways, guys, go ahead and smack that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.